Okay, I will share the slide related to the management problem and the research problem. We should be very clear about the difference between what is the management problem and what is the research problem. I hope you are able to see my screen now. So, so we were discussing uh, business research process, right? At the time, the very first stage uh, or very first step of business research was to identify the research problem, right? So identifying the research problem or formulating the research problem. So there I have discussed that a research problem is derived from the management problem. So you should be knowing as what is management problem and what is the research problem. So we are taking certain examples here. So normally management problem is a management, uh, the problem that is faced by the management a situation in which they are supposed to take a decision and they are not sure about which decision they have to take. So that situation of decision making is called as the management problem. Whereas a research problem is something related to that and it is derived from the management problem. So now we take some examples. Say management problem is where what should be done to increase the customer base of organic products in domestic markets. So that is a management problem. A company, an organization which is into organic products, organic products, they want to know their decision problem is how we can increase the customer base. Nothing but how they can increase the size of customers, how they can uh, make more customers to buy that product. So this is the management problem. And research problem related to this would be so this is the management problem and you have to do a research to get information to help the manager to answer this management problem. Got it? That is how the research is linked. So now research problem, if you see in this particular case, what is the awareness and purchase intentions of health conscious consumers for organic products? Got it? So this is the research problem. So I repeat. The research problem related to this management problem is what is the awareness and purchase intention of health conscious consumers for organic products. So through research you have to answer this question or you have to get a solution for this problem that becomes the research problem. So getting an awareness what is the awareness of people about organic product what is the purchase intentions of the people who are health conscious and prefer organic product. So these aspects, if you find, then it will help the management to take a decision related to the management problem. So that is what, that is a, one example. Another example we are seeing, how to reduce turnover rates in the BPO sector. So turnover rate in the sense here we mean employee turnover, employee turnover. That is employees leaving the organization, resigning from the organization. So that is considered one of the uh, problem in BPO sector where many people keep on, uh, you know, uh, leaving, leaving the, that particular uh, sector. Job turnover is quite high. So that is a management problem. So what is the research problem related to this? What is the impact of shift duties on work exhaustion and turnover intentions of BPO employees? So BPO mainly it is based on shift duties. The timing is different than any other uh, type of uh, job. Here there is night shift or timings are there. People have to work starting from evening 6 o'clock to morning 4 o'clock or some people may start work in the middle 12 o'clock and work up to 10 o'clock in the morning. So this is the type of time schedule where BPO employees have to work means they are working for 
their clients who are in other countries so you know the timings are different so when we have daytime here there is night and when it is night here they may have morning or different times are there so it depends european timings american timing or some other country different timings it depends the timing depends on the bpo is servicing which uh, uh, country so like that normally employees will have different timings so the research problem related to this what is the impact of this shift duties timing what is the impact of the different timing on the employees uh, exhaustion means they get stressed out exhausted what is the effect of that whether there is some effect of that impact of that uh, different timing and shape on their work uh, stress and do they have any intention of this is there any relationship with this so you are trying to find out that okay the shift timings and their intention to leave the job and uh, their job stress whether there is any relationship you have to find out so that becomes a research problem which will be helping the management to solve the employee turnover got it so if they know that yes there is some relationship or impact on the shift duties then what they will do they will take certain measures to change the shift duties or do some other things so it will help them to reduce the employee turnover got it so that is the relation management problem and research problem another example how to improve the delivery process of widex hearing aids in india so widex is a particular brand which is a hearing aid to people who have some problem in hearing so there is a device which will help them to hear more clearly so here this particular company's management problem is how to improve their delivery process okay how to improve the delivery process in india that is the management problem so research problem related to that would be how does widex or industry leader manage its supply chain in india so how does widex so you may do a two different research one is to find out how widex is managing its supply chain in india and how does the industry leader so every product category is there is some industry leader who is doing you know uh, the number one sales who is having the largest market share of that particular product right say if you take the automobile industry market leader is maruti like that for each product there is a market leader so how does in this particular uh, hearing aid product there will be some market leader so trying to understand their supply chain so you have to do research and find out that so that becomes your research problem which will help the management to solve their problem and finally we'll see one more example to differentiate between management problem and research problem should the company continue with its existing security services vendor or look at an alternate you say a particular company is going for some security security people are there and there is a particular agency which will provide certain securities okay there are different security agencies which will provide different uh, you know the security men people who you know uh, do the security work so here is a company whether they want to continue with the existing sub uh, agency which is providing the security or they want to change it that is a management problem the research problem related is what is the satisfaction level of the company with the existing vendor are there any gaps can they be effectively handled by the vendor yes so if these questions are answered it will help the management to uh, you know take a decision whether they want to continue the existing agency or they will look for a different agency for security purpose so what you have to do is in research is you have to find out what is the satis satisfaction level of the company with the existing agency or vendor okay that is one thing are there any gaps gaps in the sense what company wants and what the vendor or the agency can give deliver what i want and what they can give the agency whether there is any gap in that okay gap means there is some uh, i want something and they are not giving that service to so that if there is any gap is there that you have to identify through research can there be any effective can they be effectively handled if there is any gap 
can the vendor handle it can the handle, vendor meet that cap prime requirement some new requirement is there or existing requirement that can the vendor uh, you no know, satisfy that so that i have to find out if these questions are answered then the management can take a decision on the vendor whether he will go with the existing vendor or he will go for an alternative vendor so that is about uh, how management problem and research problems are related i hope uh, with this discussion you are able to clearly understand the differences